So uh, about a month or two ago, probably like two months ago, I was riding down the road past a junkyard and saw some go-karts and mini bike for sale. So you boys stopped in and bought a Murray Nitrox, a Baja, Baja frame, which is essentially just a, a dingo type frame, like American Express dingo. And I bought a Baja Warrior mini bike frame. Bought them off for $75. The Baja Warrior has a Hemi Predator that's probably blown up the head or the muffler and intake was off of it. So it's been getting rained in and whatnot. So uh, we'll probably just pull the head off that engine, pull the crankshaft and stuff and just use it as a parts engine. But today, me and Braxton is going to build the Murray Nitrox. We're just going to put a new live axle on it, new wheels and tires, new seat. Get it right for this uh, little girl that goes to church with us. She's going to be pumped about it. Open this door up. Let's show them the goods. So there she is, Murray Nitrox. I'm hoping the wheels that I got are gonna clear the frame. Once they're on there, we gotta see about that. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We're getting rid of the band brake. We're also getting rid of this axle tube. If you see, sorry, it's raining out here. Uh, this axle tube used to hold a three quarter inch live axle. The only thing it's uh, from what Go Power Sport says, it's a metric outside diameter and a standard inside diameter bearing. They're really hard to find. I didn't want to have to search one out, so what we're going to do is just cut these hangers off. All three. We're going to put a live axle from Go Power Sports on it. Also, a 30 series torque converter from Go Power Sports, an old Predator 212 that a good friend of the channel had give us. Uh, Randy, the guy that did the floor in the bus, he gave me a Predator that he used one time on a tiller, so it's going to be perfect on this. I'm just hoping those wheels I have won't hit the frame and still give her enough steering. That's going to be the only bad thing. We're not going to paint it or anything. We're just basically going to bolt a new seat from Go Power Sports on this seat frame. Get it running as a little two-seater. We're going to put hydraulic brakes on it. That's the only upgrade we're going to do to it. So let's get this thing in the garage and start tearing it apart. So the bearings are pretty much seized in the wheel. I'm gonna spray it with some PB Blaster. Let it soak while we take other things apart. Uh -oh. Got one. Hey. So off camera, I was prying the crap out of this bearing. I got the wheel off. This bearing is stuck. I've sprayed it with PB Blaster and everything. The bearing shattered and hit me in the stomach. Pieces flew. Did you it find hit, it? No, it hit the garage door though. You can see where the bearing busted in pieces. It didn't cut me, but it, it hit my stomach hard. I was sitting there prying on it like that and it shattered. It was rough. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. These wheels will work perfect. Now, these are 145, uh, let's see, 145 76s. So, six inch wheel. These you can get on gopowersports.com. These will work on a lot of small go karts. No, a lot of people aren't a huge fan of the V-Treads. They've always worked great for us, especially for what this thing's for. They're going to be great. They just have a 5.8 bearing in the center. They'll go on almost 95% of all go parts. So it's going to work out perfect. We'll just have to put a small, probably half-inch spacer or so uh, behind the wheel in between that. We'll probably go with a one-inch, just a standard one-inch spacer. Now we got to get this thing off. She's coming. Tight, good tight fit.
Okay, so since we had to cut this axle tube off because it wasn't going to work out to our favor, we've done this before on Murray go-karts. We basically kept an old roll cage off of a Murray that someone, we did that one-seater for Braxton's brother, Eli, and he didn't want the roll cage. So the roll cage actually has come in handy because this is the last 90 bend. This is a one and a quarter tubing, and I don't have a die for my uh, bender for one and a quarter. So luckily we had this last bend. I put a notch with a one and a quarter hole saw bit. And that lines up right there so basically i can weld it around this weld it to this and that'll give us a brace and we can put our engine plate right here kind of centered on this tube it'll overhang like that our sprocket will go right there our brake will go somewhere right in here we'll just try to keep it you know a little tight and then we can do a brace slanted from this because this will tweak we've noticed that on eli's go-kart when it got done it kept kicking the chain because this whole back section was twisting so and add that brace right there. Then we're gonna notch two other pieces of tubing. Probably go right in front of the seat belt brackets and put a crossbar there. And over there, we'll probably cut these old brake brackets out because we're gonna mount a Go Power Sports ATV style caliper right in here somewheres, and this rod's gonna actually pull it. We don't know exactly. I may mount it up here, but it just depends on, I don't want it to be in the way of some kid's legs because the master cylinder does have the reservoir that sticks up off of it. Uh, they do offer these with the reservoir that's mounted uh, to the side, but I do not have one, so we're going to have to use what we got. But I do want hydraulic brakes on this for that kid because, you know, I'd hate for her to wreck and get hurt on this thing. So, I'm going to clean you. some... What? I called you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got the engine sitting on there. We've got that engine plate welded on. And Daniel, while I've been editing, editing some videos, has put this Go Power Sports brake master cylinder on there with a little reservoir on top. We've used the factory brake rod. Daniel, you want to go ahead and hit that rod? Yep. And he pushes the pedal. Bam. Got so brakes. he had to shorten this one and lengthen this rod to make it all fit. <laughs> she works great, though. Yeah. So now he's modified. Where's your piece you've modified? You got it on there? This so one. this is a old Chinese four-wheeler caliper that I think I was stripping down the four-wheeler and he's taken, we've made this out of a piece of quarter inch flat stock and uh, and just this will weld on lock. So right to our axle hanger. So that's gonna be perfect. Give her some really nice uh, hydraulic disc brakes. Then we can uh, basically wash everything and paint all this stuff we've added black so it'll match because we're not painting this card again and then we can uh, assemble this thing so let's get this welded on bled out and ready to go and boom just like that bob's uncle yep ready to ride <laughs> let's do it
you can hear the bumps making them like da, 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 da. that's his foot trying to stay comfortably on the throttle. What do you think about it? Dope. I mean, imagine for a kid that's never had a go kart before. Dang, boy. Pretty stout. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell when you just, I mean, you, you ripped up the yard throwing a freaking rooster tail. Rooster tail. Yeah, it's going to be a fun, and it's fully governored and everything. So uh, I told him if he wanted me to take out the governor, then we would basically, uh, I told him I wouldn't do it unless he bought a flywheel. So he's going to buy a Go Power Sports billet flywheel for it. Later on when she's used to it, we'll take out the governor and then we'll have a throttle stop on the pedal so she can only push down the pedal so far so we can kind of tune in. But yeah, do some clean shots of this son of a gun and see what she thinks about it. Doofus. Blah, blah.